good morning everybody today in our class we will discuss about volcanisms from the chapter unstable earth okay first we will discuss about some important facts about volcanisms volcanisms is the process of the upwelling of hot molten magma gas water vapor etc from the earth interior through the plains or you can say the weakness of the crust that means like a uh, weakness means cracks and vents they can escape quietly or you can say explosively onto the surface volcanic activity is the result of endogenous or you can say endogenic process endogenic process means which is happened is interior of the earth okay and the most perfect or spectacular landforms created due to the volcanic activity that is known as volcanic mountain they are also called volcanoes the volcanic mountain are formed by the accumulations of lava and others ejected materials like volcanic ash dust etc these materials are deposited in layer around the vent and after few times or after few years a volcanic cone is built the shape of this cone depends on the nature of lava if the lava is acidic a steep sided cone is formed but if it is basic lava then a flat cone is produced okay few important examples of volcanic uh, mountains are like the vesuvius in italy mount fujiyama in japan mount kilimanjaro in africa mount kotapaxi in ecuador um popocatepetl in mexico barren island in andamanikavar island in india okay these are the most important examples of volcanic mountain you have to remember pacific ring of fire the volcano are found in the large number in a ring along the coast of north and south america and eastern asia it is known as the pacific ring of fire it has different name like like it is also called ring of fire the rim of fire the griddle of fire and this ring of fire is a horseshoe shaped belt and it is around 40000 km long and up to 500 km wide okay as you see, lava plateau or lava plain uh, beside this uh, volcanic mountain there are the few lava plateau and lava plains is also formed when the lava erupts to the cracks and when gently and spread in layers over a vast areas of uh, this land they, they created this volcanic plateau or volcanic um, plains okay as example you can say deccan plateau okay now we will discuss about the causes of volcanic eruptions there are the several causes for the volcanic eruptions like according to the professor macdonalds he said that the heat of the earth interior is the primary causes of volcanic eruptions according to him earth movement and earthquake create um, cracks a joint or fractures on the earth surface and due to this excessive heat in the earth's interior the rocks melt and the molten magma then move upward and being lighter and less dense and the weak joints and fractures are blown away by the pressures of the rising magma lava and volcanic cinders ash gas mud etc and get that pushes out and get deposited around the vent number two causes is the volcanic eruptions also takes place uh, when the two uh, plates converge or collide the subducted plate started melting after it's entered into the asthenosphere 
and the molten magma then rises up and moves out along the plate margin number 3 The surface of the Earth, the crust, is comprised of a number of tectonic plates, which are constantly moving slowly at about the rate your fingernails grow. Most volcanic activity occurs at the places where these plates meet, the plate boundaries. The large layer of rock beneath the Earth's crust is called the mantle. This is mostly solid, but in certain places it can melt to become magma. This causes volcanic activity. At mid-ocean ridges, tectonic plates move apart. This creates space for the mantle rock below to rise. As it moves upwards, the pressure on the rock decreases, allowing it to melt. When the magma reaches the surface, the ocean water causes it to cool, creating giant pillow-like formations of a rock called basalt. These rocks make up most of the sea floor. At subduction plate boundaries, a thin oceanic plate slides under a thicker continental plate. The oceanic plate is saturated with water, which it drags down into the earth. At around 60 miles deep, the water trapped inside is released, which reduces the melting point of the surrounding rock, allowing it to melt. This melted rock cools as it rises. Different minerals cool at different rates, and one of the last to cool is silica. The magma which eventually reaches the surface is silica rich, which makes it thick and gloopy. Because the magma is so thick, the gases released on melting get trapped in large bubbles. When one of these reaches the surface, it bursts. This is what causes an explosive volcanic eruption. There are also a number of so-called volcanic hotspots away from plate boundaries. Here, mantle rock is melted by a plume of heat originating from deep in the earth. The Hawaiian Islands were formed over one such hotspot and still contain the world's most active volcano, Kilauea. Another reason is when water percolates through the ground and meet the hot magma of earth's interiors stream is formed and that stream tries to come out with the explosions and force out as the volatile molded magma materials with it another reason is a sudden increase of temperature in the earth's interiors exact tremendous pressures and volcanic materials come out and volcanic eruptions occur and the another causes is uh, for the volcanic eruptions is water presence in liquid magma and gives rise to gas and water vapor the gases then expand with the pressure is released and molten magma mixed with gas and water vapor and that pushes out through the weak joint so these are the main causes for the volcanic eruptions okay